When I was seven, I got sick. After about three months, I couldn't get out of bed. And my father picked me up and shoved me in the back of the old car. Dr. Ektoff and Dr. Bergman had a clinic. And I woke up the next morning, and for whatever reason, I had strength. And I stood up, and I could walk just with IV fluids and antibiotics. And I thought, this is really good. Look at what these guys did. So in second grade, I decided that I was gonna be like them. I was the fourth doctor in pulmonary medicine to come to Las Vegas. It was a great opportunity because it was a growing town even in the late 70s. There was a chance to start a pulmonary fellowship, which we did for one year, and then it became a pulmonary critical care fellowship. I enjoy being a doctor because I get to meet a lot of people, and everybody has a story. And I just don't mean a history as this is what is wrong. And everybody wants to get back to feeling well about themselves and take care of their families. I really enjoy coming up with the correct diagnosis and giving them the medicine or the treatments that they need because a lot of them do get better. And that just feels nice. The people that work in the practice are important. They allow me to do what I like to do, what I want to do, what I need to do. The people that I work with at the hospital my friends, my colleagues, they're really very decent men and women. I enjoy them. But the people that are most important are in this house. She makes it possible for me to do what I want to do. And the girls, they put up with me. So they're my favorite people. My dad is not one to talk about himself. To like know that that's my dad and that that's my legacy, it's, it's absolutely crazy. I'm just really proud that my dad has accomplished so much, but he's just so humble about it. But I'm really proud that he loves what he does and that that's his biggest gift. And I also loved going to the clinic as well because his name was on the door and he was the first name on the door. And I remember saying when I was younger that he was the king of the doctors because his name was first. If you're gonna do something, you have to do it 110%. And being loyal to that thing is something that I've really learned from him. Mm -hmm. he, he just has a, a bounce in his step, and he's so joyful to go and do his work. And I think that joy and that peacefulness and waking up being content and excited for the day, that's something important I think he's taught me. Well, in the 40 years that I've been here, I've been able to do a couple of good things. When I came, the Lung Association, American Lung Association of Nevada, was kind of small and didn't really have much that it could do. And we decided to try and make a difference. And we started a Better Breathers Club and talked to the politicians in the legislature to try and do things to clean up the air. 1995. Governor Miller asked me to be a member of the State Board of Medical Examiners. In 1999, Governor Gwynne reappointed me. Some people would say that I am a pretty good teacher. I use analogies so that they can build from what they learned in school to what they need to do at the bedside. You can almost see the bright light going on on the top of their head. I'm trying to let people understand how it can be done and how it's effectively done because people did that for me. Paul, uh, congratulations on your award tonight and thank you for everything you've done for our community. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being such a great support and friend and providing all the guidance that you have for me over the years. Thank you, it's well deserved to you, congratulations. Congratulations, Dr. Stewart. I think that the group of doctors that now exist in Las Vegas are all really good physicians and people. Medicine is not single person. This is a team sport. We are all equally important. I can't do what I do and most of the physicians in the audience can't do what they do without a lot of help.